What's up, right? Joshua picked up something strange from the Galilee hack. It's code, but the comments are in Chinese. Oh, tell me the Chinese didn't hack the satellite backbone already. Not the satellite. The submarine cables connecting China and the U.S. Mm. That's not even the interesting drop your pants part. Bloom's been monitoring the hack. Joshua says the hackers are stealing data and using it to make a mint on the New York Stock Exchange. The hackers turned inside a trader, so it's not the first time it's happened. Yeah, we'll get this. The program the hackers are using? Drum roll, Josh, please. Pattern recognition software. Sure as shit looks like bellwether to me. And Bloom knows? So why are they sitting on it? Well, that's why we're talking. We have nothing solid to go on, except our Chinese hackers use their access to pre-clear a cargo ship landing in San Francisco. Their shipping containers just arrived at the port. I'll check it out. Yo, Sitara, what's the container number I'm looking for? LV426. Oh, seriously? You testing my geek foo? A bit, yeah. It starts with SIBU707. <laughs> okay, I see it. But I got other containers in the way. And I have to find a way to unblock it. Calm down, calm the fuck down. Oh, Riddle me this. Who around here is Chinese and deals in human trafficking? Anti shoe boys for sure. Yeah. Well, it's some high-end human smuggling like I ain't never seen before. His container is nicer than my last apartment. I'm sending you a picture. Got it. Who is he and why does he have a bloody nose? Noodle Translate isn't his friend. And he's not your run-of-the-mill cargo either. Not sure what I can do with it. Let's see if you can match his face online. My guess? He's got an education if they went to all this trouble. Right. I'll start with Chinese schools and get back to you if I find something. Okay. Oh, and by the way, uh, welcome to America. Marcus, I found your guy. What you got? Graduate of Shanghai Jiao Tong University. He's got a double master's in statistic and business. He's a quant. They definitely need him to number crunch that stock market data, which means the Auntie Shoe Boys are in the business of insider trading. I have a contact in Chinatown who's connected with the Auntie Shoe Boys. I'm sending you his coordinates. Maybe he can help you get answers. Hey, you know this guy? Yeah, you're just full of attitude, aren't you? Look, I know the Auntie Shoe Boys are bringing them in. I'm trying to find out why. No, I don't fucking know him. We don't all know each other. Satara said you could help me out. Give me something here. Why didn't you say so? Auntie Shu has an office in the import-export company on Gold Street. They keep records there. But you tell Satara this makes us even. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Heads up. I'm checking up on a lead in Chinatown. I think it's an Auntie Shu safe house or something. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay. Keep an eye out for anything we can use related to the stock market hack.
I'm looking. Where is he? Now this is promising. Let's see what you're hiding. You got anything good? Documents. You read Chinese? <laughs> nah, but I do read maps and diagrams. Maps and diagrams of what? Looks like a floating server farm. Computer nodes, generators. They're in international water somewhere near the China-US cable. The Pacific Fleet's been chasing boats and submarines away from that thing for years. But that's a lot of wet to cover. Not when they also feed you coordinates. Thank you, Auntie Shoe Boys. Great. Now get out of there. Stan. Hack the barge. Get an inside peek and maybe find out why Bloom is letting someone use Bellwether on the stock market. Only problem is, it's out of range. Okay. Barge won't be linked to CTUS and she'll use Chinese protocols. But I've got a fix for you. Easy peasy. I'll patch you in on my side. Just get your phone to a clear location. I'm sending you coordinates to a lighthouse in Marin. Make sure you look around. The view's spectacular. Learn to drive, moron! Yo, let's get fucking